Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gent Sense. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about different fragrance stores. So I'm gonna be giving you guys some of my personal opinions on these fragrance stores, whether they're good, whether they suck, and how good their prices typically are. So I'm gonna be going over with you guys basically the places that I shop. Now to be sure, there are way, way more fragrance stores out there than the ones that I'm gonna talk about in today's video. So please guys in the comments below, uh, give your experiences with other stores that I don't mention in today's video just to help other people out. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about some fragrance stores. Now this is really all just off the top of my head. So it might be a little bit meandering, but we'll we'll try to work through this. Uh, let's start off with the fragrance discounters, because that seems to be what most people want to know about. That's where most people seem to shop, at least people that are watching YouTube videos anyway. And each one of the stores we talk about, I'll link below in case you want to check them out, in case for some reason you're not aware of the store and you want to peruse their offerings. All right, first store we'll talk about is uh, Fragrance Buy. So Fragrance Buy is a Canadian store. It's fragrancebuy.ca, so that .ca gives it away. I know there's another store called Perfume Online in Canada, but I've never shopped there myself, so I can't tell you one way or another if it's good or bad. Price-wise, fragrancebuy.ca is pretty good. They're usually toward uh, the best as far as the pricing goes. They're not always the best, but they're usually pretty close, at least with most fragrances. Some of the good things about fragrancebuy.ca is their shipping is typically pretty fast. Even though they're in Canada, they get it to the US quickly. And if you're in Canada, it'll be really fast. They also have a loyalty program, so you can sign up for that. And as you buy stuff there, you get what they call sprays, which is just points toward their loyalty program. And you can use that for like free shipping coupons, 10% off coupons, or even gift cards. So those were all positives. Uh, another good thing about Fragrance Buy is a lot of times they end up getting newer releases first as compared to some of the other discounters. So if you've been looking for a new fragrance, they'll typically have it, not always, but typically have it first. And they also have a really good selection of Middle Eastern fragrances. So they'll have more stuff there to pick from than some of the other discounters. There's not really a lot of uh, negatives for the website. Sometimes their pricing is not quite as low as some of the other big name discounters. But like I said, it's usually pretty close. Another thing that maybe you could call a negative, but it's it's not really a negative, is that when they do get in those, those new fragrances or those hot fragrances that people have been wanting, they sell out like that. And then you've got to hope that they can restock it at some point. So that seems to happen. Uh, so really, if you're looking for something there, something that's a big seller and they have it in stock and you want it, you should probably buy it because it's gonna get out of stock pretty quick. But Fragrance Buy is really good. And as far as discounters goes, it's one of the only places anymore that I shop. Next, let's hop over to Fragrance Net. So Fragrance Net is the biggest fragrance discounter in the US. They oftentimes have really good prices, especially when you use their 35 or 37% off coupons. They get new stuff in just about every day. So if you want to, you can go to FragranceNet and sort by new arrivals, see what they've got coming in. And sometimes you can find some absolutely insane deals by doing that. And sometimes they get in stuff a little bit like Fragrance Buy that's really hot and sells out fast. So that's the best way to check what they have and possibly scoop it up before it's gone. They actually sometimes, very very rarely will get discontinued fragrances in and I find them by doing that new arrivals thing. So that's really cool. It's rare though, like really rare, but sometimes it happens. Fragrance Net is probably the store that I've bought the most from uh, all time. I mean, I've placed, I couldn't even tell you how many orders through there. The only real negative for me uh, with Fragrance Net is their shipping times. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes you place an order and they get it to you pretty quick. Other times it is super slow. So that can really suck, placing a big order on FragranceNet and then just waiting and waiting and waiting. The slowest shipping on average, I would say, of the big discounters. That's really the only big drawback for me. Everything else there is really cool. They've got a great selection. Like I said, they add new stuff literally all the time and their prices are really, really good. So Fragrance by FragranceNet, those are two of my 
absolute top choices as far as discounters go. Then there is Fragrance X. Now, Fragrance X is the same company as Perfume.com. So yeah, it's the same company. If you shop at Perfume.com, you're shopping at Fragrance X, essentially. Now, Fragrance X for the longest time was to me like just below Fragrance Net. So Fragrance Net was my, my store of choice. And then Fragrance X, I liked a whole lot too. I can tell you guys, I have not bought anything from Fragrance Sex in a long time now. I don't even look at the website for the most part. I feel like the other discounters do a better job. They have better prices and um, they have better customer service. I know that some people would say Fragrance Net maybe is lacking on customer service, but with my experience with Fragrance Sex, not great. So Fragrance X, I don't use them anymore. If they're the only store that has a fragrance that you're looking for and it's a good price, go for it. But otherwise, I would shop elsewhere, probably get better customer service and a better price. So, and uh, that leads me to the next one, Max Aroma. Uh, Max Aroma, they started off as kind of a discounter and they still are, but now they're also sort of like a, a distributor for a bunch of different niche fragrances, indie fragrances. So Max Aroma has kind of changed gears a little bit. They started off trying to go like after Fragrance Ned and Beauty Spin slash Notino, who are no longer doing business in the United States. They're in Europe, but not in the US. But they started off going after those stores, you know, trying to take market share from them. And then they were like, pivot, change, let's do this niche fragrance distribution. Max Aroma is another store that I used for a long time. And kind of kind of the same thing with Fragrance X. I haven't shopped there in a long time. And also kind of the same thing with Fragrance X. Uh, it was a real hassle anytime I had to deal with anybody on their customer service side. And so I, I haven't used them in a long time. But if you're looking for fragrances again that they have and other places don't, use them. I mean, you'll get the fragrances. They're authentic. It's all good. Uh, after that, Joma Shop. So obviously I have a code with Joma Shop. It's Gents8. We'll save you $8 off any order over 110 bucks. Joma Shop is a discounter, but not just a fragrances of a lot of stuff. So they have clothing they have shoes, they have sunglasses, they have leatherware like bags and wallets. They got a whole bunch of stuff. But one of the main things they have is fragrances and also watches. Like those are the two, I guess, biggest things that they're really trying to push right now, trying to grow. So they have a lot of stuff on there, niche and designer. Uh, the layout of the website, I don't like a huge amount. Like I don't like their browsing as much as some of the other websites. It feels a little archaic, <laughs> I guess. Price wise though, they're usually about the best. So they have really good pricing, especially on some of the niche brands that they carry. They mark some of those off heavy. Like they have Nishane on there, a lot of them for under $100, not testers, full presentation. I did have an issue with one of the orders, not fragrance related, it was sunglasses. I ordered a pair of sunglasses and they sent me the wrong pair. So it was the same brand, but a different, uh, different style and everything. And I wrote them about it pretty quickly, got an email back and they gave me options. I could either send it back and get the one I wanted, send it back, get a refund, or they would refund me. I think it was like $40 and I just keep the pair that they sent me. So Joma Shop, they're good. Uh, I do use them. And I'd say that at this point, if I were gonna rank out my top three fragrance discounters that I personally buy from and actually get my fragrances from, it is Fragrance Net, uh, Fragrance Buy, and Joma Shop. And Notino was awesome when they were in the US. But also one that I have used and I have had problems with is LaBelle Perfumes. I've bought from them before and had no problems at all. But the one time I did run into an issue, it was a major, major freaking pain. And that was uh, where they sent me something incorrectly. And then I said, hey guys, this is what you sent. This is what I ordered. And it was just like pulling teeth to try to get that rectified, you know? So I've used them a bunch of times with no issues, but I did have a big pain in the butt once with them. Then there are uh, some other stores that you can buy from that are overseas. So if you're looking for like a fragrance that maybe they have that's not in the US, they'll ship to the US. One of those is Sweet Care. Sweet Care though does not have a great selection as far as their, their fragrances that they carry. They do occasionally get new releases in first, so you can check them out if you're really antsy to pick something up. And they're shipping to the US. I mean, it's not fast, but uh, it's better than some other ones that I've ordered from. And then in France, there are a couple that I use. One's called Incenza, 
and then one is called News Parfums. You can sometimes get new releases from those stores. Again, it's in France, so shipping to the US, uh, it's kind of hit or miss. It's expensive, and sometimes it takes forever. Other times it's not so bad, but sometimes it'll get stuck in like customs. It'll be there for like two, three weeks with no updates and then suddenly just arrive. So be aware of those. If you're really wanting a new release, you can check those sites out. Let's talk about niche. Obviously, I order a bunch from Twisted Lily and I have a code with them too, just like with Joma Shop. It's Gents10, 10% 10 off the entire website if you use that code. Twisted Lily is a retailer slash distributor for a bunch of different niche brands. So those are gonna be priced at retail at that website. If you use the 10% off code, obviously everything is at 90% of retail, but don't go to that website expecting sick deals. You're basically buying directly from a retail store. Then there's Lucky Scent. That's the biggest, I would say, niche retailer in the US. They also have a pretty cool Instagram, so you can follow that. They've got a bunch of followers on there. They talk about a lot of different Indian niche fragrances on the Instagram, obviously, but I've bought from them a whole bunch. They also give you these little uh, dinky sample vials with every order, which can be kind of cool. They're like little 0.7, you know, those dabber vials of samples, which I absolutely hate, but you can put them into like a tiny decant and, and spray it, then it's a lot better. And Lucky Scent, actually, I placed an order with them not that long ago, went super smooth. It was for uh, Late Harvest and Ganymede. So I picked those two up there. I know there are other stores out there, like other niche stores that carry a uh, smaller number of brands, but I, I really just mainly shop at those two because if I'm looking for something at retail, I mean, chances are it's gonna be at one of those stores. And if it's a big time niche brand, I can probably find it discounted at one of those stores I talked about before. So those are the two ones that I use personally. Then of course you can buy decants, uh, you can buy samples. There are a lot of different ways to do that. There are uh, web stores like Scent Split or I think Decant X and Surrender to Chance. And those stores all just sell uh, decants. So in case you don't know what a decant is, it's basically you take a fragrance bottle, a retail fragrance bottle, and you remove part of the fragrance, put it into a smaller bottle and sell that on. So you could buy like three or five or 10 or one milliliter of a fragrance and test it out, or you could buy it as like a travel spray or something. You're gonna pay a higher price per milliliter because the store wants to make their money. So if the fragrance, you know, they purchased it for $300 for a 100 mil size bottle, that's $3 per milliliter. And they're probably gonna sell it to you for like $5 per milliliter or something like that. But those stores all do pretty much the same thing. The one that I like the most is Scent Split. That's the one that I've used. That's the one that I partner with. But of course, uh, if you're looking for a fragrance, it's not there or it has a better price elsewhere, then scoop it up there just as long as it's a decant store that you trust. Of course, you can also buy carded samples. A lot of times people will sell those, again, usually on eBay. So there we go, guys. This one is running a little bit long. I actually wanted to keep this really short, and I think it's already gonna be longer than I was hoping. Like I said at the beginning, there are a lot of stores that I haven't mentioned here, either because I've never shopped there or because also I've never shopped there. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you again another day another video. See you guys.